The Remington 700 is a rank 12 bolt action sniper rifle. It does 75 to 70 base damage with a damage range of 50 to 200 studs. The RPM for this weapon is 60 and the magazine capacity is 6 plus an optional 1 in the chamber with 48 ammo in reserve. The R700 has a torso multiplier of 1.35x and a head multiplier of 3x. Because of these stats, the R700 can kill with a body shot up to 78 studs and it will kill with a headshot at all ranges. The velocity of the R700 is 2,650 studs per second and the walk speed is 13.5. When using the long barrel attachment, you get a damage range of 54 to 280 studs and a velocity of 2,782.5. This change brings the body shot range up to 96 studs. In my opinion, this is the best all-rounder in the sniper category. It has a great body shot range, great mobility and ADS times, average velocity and fire rate, as well as attachments which can improve its already good attributes even further. The long barrel extends the torso kill range at a slight reduction of movement and ADS speeds, but the skeleton grip and remove stock attachments can completely nullify this issue and then some. Now, a lot of people like to use straight pull, but I personally don't for a few reasons. Generally, when I need to fire multiple shots in rapid succession, it's because I've encountered multiple multiple enemies at close range. In this situation, I wouldn't take the time to ADS anyway and I just hip fire, and the difference in speed is negligible. The loss of mobility is also important to me, especially since I use the long barrel, but you know, try both and see which one you prefer. I use the R700 at all ranges with either the iron sights or the VCAW. If I miss the shot, I take out my Glock 17 when there's no escape. I also use my pistol to finish off enemies which I failed to one tap if I don't have time to cycle the action. Hipfire is incredibly useful at close range. If the enemy is close enough, you can just physically point the barrel at them and be pretty certain that you'll hit them. If they're a little bit further away, I recommend aiming, but still shooting before the aiming animation is finished. So that way you can be more certain that you're going to hit them while still saving yourself some time if you need to. Here's the loadout, and uh, yeah, as I said earlier in the video, these are the attachments I recommend. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. First video is doing really well, but that's probably just because of the shout out. We'll find out with this one. Uh, yeah.